Okay, I see a bunch of corrosion stuff. Here. So I'm gonna take these recorders to the car and put them in a safe place. Uh, I'm just gonna stick the whole blimp in there. We're working on it. Here's that recorder too, by the way. Oh, dope. It's October 3rd, prepping for recording a rocket launch of all things. <laughs> How crazy is that? An Atlas V, to be exact. Uh, pretty, pretty rare thing, uh, especially for games. Um, I, I've never seen it done before. It's been a long time in the works. There's a lot to it. I'm setting up multiple recorders and multiple microphones. It's kind of like, you're throwing dice and you're just hoping that some of this stuff works, but you have to plan for failure too. This is a great opportunity for me to, like from the source, have something that I can start with and manipulate and make our own and really make it make it curb. I, I don't know what else is, is bigger than this. I mean, it's like one of the most powerful man-made things in the world. Let's start. <laughs> I, we have tie downs, We're, we'll be fine. I'm gonna stick four microphones up top here, and then four microphones further out. And then I'm gonna do a further rig, like this, I believe in there, or in here. That scared me. I'm just trying to run through every plan I had and make sure we're covered and safe and trying to accommodate for uh, water spray and Kimball Coles. And... Getting a little nervous. They're saying that the GFI is kind of popping, so I might have to run on battery power. I think I'm okay. These are freaking lightning towers. Wow. I have to tape them so they don't fall down. We were gonna bag them, but we didn't have time to get sand. But this is gonna work great. This is much closer than I thought we were gonna be. Kind of scary seeing it up close like this. Does this look okay? Mic placement. <laughs> um, would you mind tapping on uh, each of the mics? All right, front, left. All right, one, two, three, four. Setting all the settings. Make sure you're getting level. I'm getting some serious hum. 17 minutes? Okay. I was hoping. <laughs> Thank you. That was a mad dash. <laughs> I have, I have been trying to go to a lot of analog sources, trying to find sound effects and stuff to record. So as far as switches and stuff like that, we had a really cool mishap in our office with an espresso machine malfunction and there was steam leaking everywhere. And I thought this would be great for audio suppression. <laughs> it sounds great. 
just at random, it was making the, these noises, like not even turning the nozzles or anything. It's just like, whoa, this is scary. The most iconic sound is definitely engines. I mean, that's, that's uh, the staple of this game. I've been trying to get down there to record. I think it's important because it, it shows that we care about the authenticity of the, of the recording process. And I think it also kind of informs me as well, just to be in person and making sure that translates to all the other engines in the game. And then we have our own original source too that we can draw from that nobody else has. I mean, rockets are really, really noisy, but they do have like their own unique signature too. And there's never been any game that's done rocket uh, audio to this extreme ever. But I really want to just to take it to the next level. So we're going into, into the VAB. The plan is that we're going to record some of the ambience in the hall. There's supposed to be some like actual activity going on on the floor. So that's gonna be awesome to actually record real VAB sounds for our VAB. I'm hoping that we actually get sounds of nothing and sounds of actual machinery. But the nothing is really important because I'm going to actually bring uh, some balloons and stuff like that that I can pop just to get some reflections in the room so I can analyze that and use it for uh, reverb impulses. Awesome. <laughs> Even if it was just me using those reverbs as a reference and being able to manipulate other reverbs to sound like that, it's a huge, huge step forward. There's an uh, element of realism that's there that it is not matched. Uh, it's pretty amazing. And I, I'm really, really striving to do that with audio, to be as realistic as, as possible. Test, test, 416. Test, test, PZM. Great. Got four recorders going. All right. I'm set. I'm glad we did that. We're so much closer than I thought we were going to be. <laughs> Do you mind clamping this, like, on that back rail there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Feeling good. Is the wind scaring you? Uh, I mean, I, I have pretty good wind protection, but it's still, it's really windy. <laughs> I was more concerned that it wasn't going to launch. But now that you think it's going to, another, what, 15 minutes? 5.14? 20 minutes? Yep. Okay. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna start getting record here. So I'm gonna try not to wear headphones during this because I just wanna, just wanna feel it all. <laughs> it's crazy this is happening. Everything's go, guys. Everything's go? Everything's go. You got a lens cap on. Everything's not a go. Everything's <laughs> a go. <laughs> Everything's good. This is happening. This is happening. <laughs> Guys, two minus four minutes. Four there, minutes? That, that's final count. Four minutes. Wonderful. We got like one minute. This is actually happening. Five, four, three. We have ignition. Two, one. <laughs> Can't wait to look at this stuff. <laughs> I found the timestamp. Yeah, that's your spot. That's your working zone. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's super loud. <laughs> oh, yes. There's a lot, lot to work with.